guys, pro noob again, and I've just found out that I have my first subscriber, so thank you, whoever that is. Anyways, I'm back at Scrap Mechanic again, and I'd just like to show you that I have found the stack limit. Yeah, I did some off-camera resource gathering, a lot of it, and I have stone now. I also, where's my vehicle? Where's my car? It is here. So I've added a drill, I also have some stone around it to balance the weight out. I've upgraded this engine a couple of times. So yeah. I also have a saw that's currently not attached to it. But anyways, I'll just like to dedicate this episode to that first subscriber. Thank you, whoever that was. Anyways, let's see. What should I do? I think I should go exploring in this episode. Before that, I need to make sure I have enough food and stuff, so sunshade, meat, red meats, carrots. Now what? I still need to get that uh, refined bot from that I promised last episode. Okay, let's see. I do not have any component kits. Uh, well, I have enough of that. I have enough of that. I think it's time to go do some hunting. Just gonna run on over. Something that I wish is that, like, you can't drink this bottled water. I really wish you could. Because currently, water is so hard to get. Because most foods give a lot of food. More food than you do water. But you need more water than you do food. Yes, there is. There's the target. Oh, black spike. Okay, just a circuit board. And some scrap metal. So. I'm just. So I've now figured out, I've done some research, and cotton can be found in a fall biome, something like that, that is what it's called. And then farmer hideouts are found in an area surrounded by mountains. Okay, so... I'm going to get my car, and I'm going to go out exploring. First, I'm going to head over to the mechanic station. Try and make a refine bot. And then I'm just going to go out and drive, I guess. Apparently, drills scare little toad bots. And the saw blades scare the hay bots. Oh, no pothole. Oh, god. just got spiked by my own car. Okay, anyways, let's, let's let this stuff load in. Let's see if there aren't any enemies. I can't. Okay, okay so that walk has been scared away by that toad bot. Let me go fight that toad bot. Apparently what I should do is I should get some corn and I should feed walk the corn or to get walk milk. Apparently that's really good. Let me let me just get some. Oh, I'm 
supposed to do it. Wait, where's the walk? Okay, there's the walk. Just take the corn. It takes three corn. To place the corn on the ground. It'll come and we'll eat it. And then... That thing, it'll eat that again. I don't know why it's halfway in the ground. And then, if that's correct, it'll come and we'll eat that. And... Pick the walk milk. Okay. It's good to know. Hello, Haybot. Do you know where I might find a fall biome? Oh, okay, hostile much. in this area where he's probably not there this time. Battery tools and component kit. Okay, those are all good things to have. Tote bot. Okay, those things only give straight ports. They don't give uh, component kits as far as I know. Not if I see more, it just helps they don't see me when I'm not ready. This area looks awfully autumnal. So, I'm wondering. So, I want to go and kill this thing. Also, apparently, there are some larger trees that can't be taken down by the sledgehammer, but they can be taken down by the saw on the car. And if you do that, you can get the logs, and those actually give you. Not just scrap wood, they give you the wood one, so they are already somewhat refined. So I'm going to test out this milk now. Oh! Oh dang! That's, that's a lot of water. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I'm looking around in here because this seems... Sort of... A t like a... Might be a fall biome? Oh sh... Just a second. You saw how much that scared. Oh man. I need to really pay more attention to my surroundings now. Where did those arms go? guys around. Surprisingly I didn't take any damage though. <sighs> Anyways, let's just grab this and look around for the other one because it went flying somewhere. There it is. Uh, I do enjoy that they conveniently make these things uh, sparkle, sort of. So they, they have that little shine on them. And that can really catch your eye. Let's see. Uh, do I have enough? No, I don't. I need two more component kits. 
let's see what she has to have. 160 of those. Okay. See if I can't fuel up my uh, car wherever I left it. Oh yeah, I need to fuel it up desperately. Okay, probably shouldn't have brought all these buckets with me. Anyways, so oh, let me go pick up that. Well, nah, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna pick up these it's corn though. It's not a cow, it's a lock. It's just cow backwards. Oh, see, look at this. It says sunshake on there. But notice how there are four little pink things come out of this pink dome. It's like it's supposed to be, uh, I don't know, but, you know? But I don't think suns are usually pink. And here's the thing, is that if you want them to eat, you have to place them one at a time, because if you place multiple, it'll get confused, and it won't eat it, apparently. This is all according to the wiki, or the Gamepedia. Alright, I guess I have to... Yeah, look, the sun shake. So, apparently sunshakes are made from mock milk. I don't know. You know what I should get? I should get, you know, I just need to get all of the, uh, bots. I'm kind of worried about my data. I'm using up a lot of it, like, multiple gigs for 30 minutes. And so, I really want to try and keep this as short as possible. It's already 25 minutes of recorded stuff, and like the last one, I cut out almost half an hour of... I made it almost half an hour shorter than what I recorded. So, I'm going to try and cut that down even more. Which is why I did so much off-camera resource gathering, because I didn't want to have to do any of that off-camera. world. 
shoot, is that a warehouse or what? I don't know what that is, but... Something definitely... Oh, shoot. There's definitely something interesting going on here. There's a bunch more of those giant... Shipping containers. Oh, this is the packing station. I've heard about this. This is so you can pack up, like, your crops. So you can trade them to the, uh, at the farmer's hideout. Okay, so that's, that's, this is that now. Chest with a vacuum pump. Pump into one of these. Put tomatoes into that, or red beets, or broccoli, or carrots. And it packs it up automatically. Okay. So. I'm not sure if that was a tow bot, but it looks blue. Oh wait, no, it's a hay bot chasing a walk. that went into the water is a metal arm. I don't think it was. It didn't look like it. Oh, wait. There's another haybot trying to kill. I just batted a hundred there. Or batted a thousand. <laughs> or, I don't know. I had that thing like it was a t-ball, I guess. Scorched forest, or that's autumn. It's fallen. Either way, I'm looking at that. I'm going over there. Because if it's scorched, then. Yeah, that's scorched. That's definitely scorched. Which means it's going to have. It could have. Uh. Find farm, aged farmers. So I'm gonna go over here and look at this. Man! I'm loving the. There's that thing right there. Okay, cool, cool. Four potatoes. 
Okay. Stairs. Alright, yeah. It seems like there's absolutely no oh wait, there's this thing. Component kit, good for soil bag. Don't really need that right now. Since there's like a million of them back at home. Uh is there anything up there? Just check that real fast. Doesn't look like it, but let me move this over here because I chose for the best spot that time. So nothing over here. Now apparently, oh man, there's just so much to see and do on this map. I've actually stopped playing on my um, worlds because I just this one is just so much more fascinating. So the uh, scorched the farmers that are stuck in the cages, the caged farmers, they're going to be you know, little holes in the ground apparently. So the thing is, you can't place them in your inventory. You have to carry them, and you have to, like, weld them to your car or something. Oh, hey. Greetings. Oh, shit, I don't have three already. Anyways, I really want to check this out, at least for the camera. Inventory full. Oh, shoot. Uh, uh, drop those, I guess. Wait, no, I want to pick up this. Circuit board, nothing. Okay, more fuel. Another blueberry. I'm definitely going to be doing this off camera, I think, because this is going to take a while. I'll just cut back if I find anything interesting. Okay, so I've been up looking for the farmer. I'm back here to finish looting this place. Let's see. And the enemies up here it doesn't look like it. Lost it. Come on, kid. Yeah, I need that. That's the fifth one, so I can go back and make that. Two more component kits from that one. Wow, that was a good 
Okay. I've seen this map just over there, and I think I want to go check this out. Because I've heard that, or I've read that the Farmer Hideout is in an area surrounded by mountains. It's good to have found this. Okay, now. Five packs of beetroot, mouthful spud gun. I need a banana and two bananas and a blueberry. Oh, okay. Potato ammo container connects. Shoot potato ammo. Okay, spud gun. A trapped farmer, two oranges, two blueberries, four broccoli, and a trapped farmer, four. Uh, so spud shotgun, spud gap yeah, is five. Pineapples? Is that pine? Yeah, it's pineapple. Uh, two farmers. Oh. I'll put the food and the farmers in there. Hit that button. I like sucked up. Okay. It's not an autumn part, that's a field.
don't think I want to go to that place. That's a little scary. Man, I am going far out today. Chemical place, I think. This place is supposedly, uh, they don't, you don't find any robots in this area, in these mountains, but can you somehow bring robots to them, or like if you plant stuff in here, will robots come here? Seeing this here, I think that's a good place to end the video, for real this time, because I actually ended it earlier, but uh, I didn't feel like we completed it enough, so now I have, now I do feel like we've completed enough, so like this video if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!